Well, hey guys, welcome back to Star Fanatics. I'm Nick, and today we're going to talk about some Star Trek Discovery news. We've only got about four weeks to go before the new season, the final season of the show, airs on our TV screens. I'm going to take a look through some promo photos today. They came out just recently, uh, and there hasn't been a huge amount of news to report. They obviously had the, the final trailer come out a little while ago. I did a bit of a chat about that, which if you haven't seen, you can click up here, and it will uh, take you to that video. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, hasn't been a huge amount come out about Discovery. We've got some promo photos, as I said, to have a look at today, which we're going to go through and take a look at those. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, I think I'm looking forward to this new season of Discovery. I think it has potential to be one of the better seasons of the show. We've got some surprises coming as well. But just before we have a look and see what these photos have to offer, there's a big, big sale in my merch store, 20% off. It's absolutely huge. Haven't had too many sales in the merch store recently because there's a bit of a, been a bit of a lack in the Star Trek news front. I don't think as many people have been going to check out my merch, so I haven't kind of made any sales on the old merch store since the, right at the start of January. So it's things like the merch store that really keep uh, this channel up and rolling along. So with a big 20% sale on at the moment, please check out the merch store. See if you can pick yourself up a t-shirt or something. Really helps support the channel. All right, let's take a look at these photos. First off, we see Saru and Burnham here in their away mission outfits. They're on this jungle planet and it looks like we've got what appears to be snow or some sort of uh, particulate matter uh, in the atmosphere. A bit of a contrast here because it looks like it's snowing but yet we've got like a tropical kind of jungle environment behind them. This is obviously the uh, the same planet that uh, we see in a few of the trailer shots where we've got statues on the ground launching probes out of eyeballs and Burnham leaping up on top of uh, of statues and things like that. So it looks like we're uh, we're hunting for some sort of artifact here or some ancient ruins or something uh, on this particular mission, which uh, I think from what I've seen in the trailer looks like it could be quite an exciting sequence. In our next shot here, we see uh, Burnham uh, at the uh, at the wheels of this sort of speeder bike thing that she's got uh, driving here. This is obviously part of that big chase sequence we've seen in the trailers before with them uh, zooming around the desert uh, being shot at by uh, a ship and sort of dust storms and things going on. This again looks like it would be a quite a, a exciting sequence uh, in the show as well. We've got a little logo of some kind on the uh, on the speeder bike down here. I thought initially it might have been a Klingon logo but if it is it, it's very worn and, uh, and, and, and a bit uh, a bit smudged. But the industrial design and everything of the speeder bikes could you know could conceivably be Klingon. Uh, their, their, their industrial design looking at the bridge of you know birds of prey and things like that are very kind of uh, you know hard edges and metallic kind of uh, finishes and a bit grimy and a bit dusty kind of appearance so it would be consistent if it was. Here we've got a shot of uh, Paul Stamets uh, obviously in engineering here looking at that sort of railing and staircase there behind him which we've seen that set used plenty of times before. Bit of steam rising up in the background there you know don't tend to get steam. So obviously they're working on some sort of technical issue perhaps. Uh, but his spirits are obviously high because he's got a nice smirk on his face here. Obviously having a bit of repartee perhaps with Adira or maybe uh, Reno or something like that. Joking around a little bit. Bit of a bit of levity which is always welcome in the show. Here's a shot of uh, of Burnham on the, the hull of uh, what I'm assuming is a Moll and Lark's ship which we've seen in various trailers and sneak peek scenes and everything where uh, Burnham manages to uh, grapple herself onto the exterior of their ship. Uh, the ship goes to warp and she's basically uh, flying along on top of the ship uh, in her EV suit whilst the ship is at warp speed. A bit like a, a bit like a bug, bug on a windscreen of the car as you drive down the highway at speed. Again, another quite exciting sequence from what we've seen in the past trailers and, and promo clips and everything. Here's a shot of Dr. Culber and Tilly. They look like they're in that recreation lounge uh, environment there because we've got sort of a a bar that they're leaning against. We've got some uh, glasses there on the bar. They're ob obviously having a bit of a chat. Uh, I, I'm guessing it ap appears from various promotional clips and, and the posters and everything as I've said in a couple of previous videos. It seems like maybe Dr. Culber has a slightly larger uh, role or presence this season. So that's um, going to be interesting to see what his involvement is uh, as well. Here's a shot of uh, Book and Burnham and uh, and Dr. Culber. We've got phases uh, drawn there. This is that sort of quarry set. We've, we saw a clip from the previous trailer which had them looking up into the sky uh, in this kind of location. Uh, this, this location I think seems to be kind of like the Vasquez Rocks equivalent uh, in Toronto where they film uh, any kind of uh, sort of weird alien planet kind of uh, location work and so forth. But obviously it's a bit of a hostile situation 
We've got them uh, looking a bit tense. Weapons at the ready. So yes, it'll be interesting to see what their foe is that they're facing off against in this scene. Here's a shot of Tilly chatting to another crewman. Can't recognise the other crewman there uh, that she's chatting to. She doesn't seem like one of our other um, regular bridge crew regulars, but we have seen a few clips uh, in the past where there's a couple of new faces on the bridge. And this one from this clip here we've seen before is in fact Lieutenant Gallo. Lieutenant Gallo, prepare to beam the captain to safety the moment she is free of the war bubble. I miss her through. But whatever they happen to be chatting about, it does definitely seems like Tilly's in a good mood. Uh, maybe she's come back to Discovery from um, doing a bit, of, bit, of, bit of stuff at uh, Starfleet Academy. Interesting to see what she's also, also happy about. Here's a shot of uh, Saru and Burnham in Saru's quarters. His quarters are always really interesting to, uh, to look at because they're always covered in plant life. We've got uh, plenty of uh, vines and uh, ferns and, and, uh, and creepers there growing on the walls. It's a very horticultural uh, quarters that Saru has. And it looks like we've got a tender moment between these two. I'm guessing this is probably from the first episode, from a couple of clips and everything we've seen in this uh, for this season. It would appear that maybe Saru's going off to maybe be an ambassador or, or, or take on some role that isn't taking him uh, into the role of a, a first officer on board the Discovery. Obviously, they both hold the rank of captain. And I think Saru has kind of overseen Burnham and got her going and now he's off to, to do something else and and, uh, and I'm wondering who uh, maybe is going to be replacing Saru as the first officer of Discovery. But no doubt this is going to be quite a uh, an emotional scene with a bit of heartfelt dialogue between uh, between these two very old friends. And in this photo we see Adira and uh, no doubt on the Trill homeworld here based on these other people in the uh, sides of frame that have got the uh, traditional trill robes on, probably seeking some counselling and some guidance from other uh, senior uh, trill people, just about symbiont, and we obviously get to have a bit of a trip back to trill at some point this season for Adira just to, I guess, check in on how things are going with Tal symbiont. We've had plenty of uh, hints and clues as well that uh, this season will also feature uh, feature a, a bit of a surprise that uh, that harks back to past Star Trek. Uh, we haven't had any really concrete information on news as to what that surprise is. Obviously they're keeping it very under wraps this season until the, uh, the season launches in a month's time. From various interviews and everything it definitely seems like there's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a, a, a hark back to, uh, to past Star Trek and, and references there. To, uh, to something that is, you know, from previous episodes that has been brought up and, and there's going to be a, a cool connection, uh, which is good. I think anything that kind of cements Discovery into other Star Trek, I think, has always uh, been maybe something that sort of, it, it, it feels a bit separated. I think previously Discovery, I think, because it was sort of way before everything else, it was a bit disconnected. Now that it's gone so far into the future, in the 32nd century, it's even more disconnected, I think. So anything which kind of ties it all together with the rest of our Star Trek canon, I think, would be a beneficial thing. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a thought in the comment section. Uh, let me know uh, if you've liked the look of some of these promo photos and if you're looking forward to the new season. I, I think I'll look at this season with, with sort of a different mindset because I think even though maybe... Discovery over its run hasn't necessarily been my most favourite of all Star Trek series. I think knowing that this is the last season, I think I'll, I'll kind of, you know, relax and, and look on it with maybe a little bit more fondness than previous seasons, knowing that it's the last one. So let me know what you guys think on that front. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to Sci Fanatics yet, please don't be shy to do so. Uh, some have been a bit slow on, the, on that front as well. Um, so yeah, please uh, check in um, and, uh, and, and sub if you haven't to the channel. It's much appreciated. As mentioned earlier, 20% off in the merch store. Pick up a t-shirt, hoodie, mug, cap, sticker. Uh, plenty of cool stuff there. Star Trek themed, sci-fi themed, and, uh, and help support the channel. Pick yourself up a massive bargain at 20% off at the moment. Be sure to check that out. I'll be back really soon with my next video. I'll catch you guys soon.